Amen. Praise the Lord. We are looking at a subject tonight that um, uh, I'm trusting God that uh, it was poor horse to pray maybe individually or together as a church I was planning to continue the series on why people are not blessed in church and the owner of the church uh, told me that there is something that he wants us to look into as a church and that's why tonight I'll be sharing with us seven gates that must be open to a man. Seven gates. Seven gates that must be opened to a man. I mean a man that wants to be great. Isaiah 41, uh, Isaiah 45, verse 1. Isaiah 45, verse 1. Thus said the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations before him and I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two lift gates and the gates shall not be shut. Hear this. Cyrus in the scripture is one of the greatest kings recorded in the scripture. He was not a Jew but God used him mightily. He was a great king in his time. And I traced his greatness to this scripture. God said, number one, he will be anointed. God said, number two, he will hold his right hand. God said, number three, he will subdue nations before him. And number four, God said, he will lose the loins of kings before him. And then number five, principally, God said, he will open before him the two lift gates. So to me, I want to say that it is impossible to be named among the great until certain gates are open to you. It is impossible to be named among the greats until some gates are opened to you. 
it is when these gates are open to you that you can be called a great man a man can be intelligent if these gates are not open nobody can trace any greatness to him though highly intelligent he may be intelligent and be frustrated it is when these gates are opened that you can be called a great man and hear this you and i don't have a choice but to end as a great man or as great men and so tonight i'm going to be showing you this seven gates we may not be able to finish them but i'm going to be showing you these seven gates that must be open to a man that will be great number one genesis chapter 28 we are going to read from verse 10 to verse 12 and then we jump from verse 12 to 16 and 17 genesis chapter 28 from verse 10 and jacob went out from beersheba and went towards heran and he lighted upon the place and tarried there all night because the sun was set and he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep verse 12 and he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the heart and the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of god ascending and descending on it verse 16 and jacob awaked out of his sleep and he said surely the lord is in this place and i knew it not verse 17 and he was afraid and said how dreadful is this place this is none other but the house of god and this is the gate of heaven the first gate that must be opened to you is the gate of heaven men and brethren until the gate of heaven is open to you you cannot be named among the great every great man that i've seen in the scripture has the gate of heaven open to them every great man that i've seen in the scripture jacob got to that place and god was not going to allow jacob to leave that place until the gate of heaven is open to him and hear me the moment that gate was open the life of that man called jacob was redefined the moment the gate of heaven is open to you your life must be redefined by god he said the gate was open and i saw the angels ascending and descending hear this when the gate of heaven is open hear this you enjoy easy answer prayers the moment the gate of heaven is open your prayers are answered speedily 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 you've seen some people they pray and pray and pray listen heaven can be shot against a man heaven can be shot against a man 
but when the gate of heaven is open that's why you get to a realm that the scripture says before you pray I will answer you he just ascending and descending to take the prayers of men to heaven and return the blessings as requested in the prayers why because the heaven is open wherever you are seated i said i i, I want us to begin to pray press in prayer as we look into this because this is not just a message to make us feel good this is a message to make us pray until something happens and that's why wherever you are seated i like you to say after me say father let my gate of heaven let the gate of heaven be open to me in the name of jesus can somebody lift up his voice can somebody lift up a voice and pray as you are seated that let the gate of heaven be open to me tonight in the name of jesus let the gate of heaven be open to me lord in jesus mighty name we have prayed now listen to me i'd like you to take it very seriously because the gate of one man can be open and the gate of others are shut that's why the bible said when jesus was to be baptized by john the bible says there were many people there that john was baptizing but you know what it was only the heaven of jesus that opened and why because the bible says he was praying and because he was praying his gate of heaven opened and the moment the gate of heaven opened the bible says a dove came upon him listen to me the moment heaven is open something must come upon you something must land on you grace must land on you the moment the gate of heaven you see the gate of heaven cannot be opened and then there is no release from heaven wherever you are seated you are going to pray again say father let the gate of heaven be open upon me in the name of jesus lift up your voice and pray that prayer let the gate of heaven let the gate of heaven be open upon me in the name of jesus i receive open gate of heaven i receive open gate of heaven in jesus mighty name we have prayed hallelujah look at psalm 24 verse 7 i'm showing you something tonight we are praying we are looking at the world and we are praying look at psalm 24 verse 7 please follow this he said lift up your heads O ye what O ye gates and be ye lifted up ye what everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in let me show you something there we have the doors of heaven and we have the gates of heaven you see to many people it is only the door that is open to them you know a lot of the times we have been talking about open doors open doors open doors open doors you see to a lot of people it is only the door that is open but listen and listen very carefully the holy spirit said to me you can carry a basket of blessing through a door you can't take a truck of blessing through a door if it is a basket of blessing 
you can open a door and then walk in can you imagine if i am going to drive a truck through this door how possible is that that's why when doors of heaven are open you enjoy blessing but little blessings but when gate is open when gates of heaven are open when the gate of heaven is a compound sized blessing it's a compound sized blessing i want you to pray listen god is showing me something for us to pray as a matter of fact anybody in this commission that is connected to this commission must not must not experience what the world is experiencing now i told you god told me that there are many wells that will dry up he said but our home well we overflow and this is one way for our wells to overflow when the gates are open to us uh, and for them the gates are shut uh, even the doors are shut uh, i'd like you to pray as you are seated uh, say father Oh Jesus, uh, say, Father, I command the gate of heaven to be open upon my life, uh, to be open upon my business, uh, to be open upon my ministry. The gate of heaven, uh, let the gate of heaven uh, be open uh, upon tabernacle of power, upon my life. Uh, let the gate of heaven, uh, let the gate of heaven, uh, let the the gate of heaven somebody lift up your voice and pray and pray and pray let the gates of heaven it was only jesus that was praying no wonder is ever open and others could not experience the open heaven oh god of heaven let my heavens open let the gate of heaven be open upon my work be open upon my ministry be open upon my life be open upon my finances let the gates of heaven in jesus mighty name we have prayed number two please i want you to pray i'm not interested in preaching tonight i'm interested in we praying this thing until it happened because you see when the lord reveals something to you and you pray it the meaning is you are praying the will of god and this is what the lord revealed and he wants us to pray it and you can't pray in accordance with his will and not see his results you can't Isaiah chapter 60 verse 11 the second gate that must be opened the second gate that must be opened he said therefore thy gates shall be opened continually <laughs> it shall not be short what day nor night hear the please when we started this church when we started tabernacle power about five years ago the lord showed me this scripture to pray for this church listen there are people that their gate is only open occasionally and that's why they only see occasional blessings there are churches that their gate is only open when they have their services hmm. and that is why 
Blessings only come in when they have services. He said, but you can keep the gate of the commission open day and night. Because when your gate is open continually, you enjoy continual blessings. When your gate is open occasionally, you enjoy occasional blessings. But he said, thy gate shall be open continually. They shall not be short day and night. I declare, somebody listening to me, the gate of your business, the gate of your finance, the gate of your work, the gate of your life shall be open continually. You know what? There are many people, their blessing is coming, but the blessing meets with a closed gate. God sent the blessing, but when the blessing came, the gate was shut. The gate was closed. And that's how they missed the blessing. Look at that scripture. It said, when thy gate is open continually, it says, so the Gentiles will bring wealth. The Gentiles will bring wealth. So the Gentiles can bring wealth and meet with the closed gates. That's why, have you not, hear, have you not heard this? I've not mentioned the second gate. Have you not heard this? It has happened to me many times. I want to send money to someone and there is a problem with the account and the money is not going. And somehow I forget or somehow I divert the money for someone else. I tried it like five times. It didn't go. And then after so many days, call the person when I was trying your nothing happened to my account number. You know what? His gate was closed. His gate was closed. Have you not heard before that somebody will be thinking, Oh, I feel like sending money to this person. I feel like giving this person a car. I feel like something, something, something like that. And somehow, somehow, it will just be given to someone else my gate must be open continually. Second gate that must be open, your personal gates. Your personal gates must be open. Look at that. He said, thy gates. We are still praying though. Thy gates. So, you have a personal gate that must be opened. Look up. How many of us has once lived in an estate? You see? You are living in this area. You have lived in an estate before. Okay. Have you ever been to an estate before? Eh? You have been in an estate before? If you have not if you have not been to an estate before come to my house come to my house that's high cost estate not low cost now listen do you know that most of the time those of us living in an estate now there is a gate to that estate there is a gate to our estate and there is a gate to my house do you know that the gate to the estate can be open and the gate to my house may be shut So it is possible for our gate to be open and a man's gate to be closed. Oh, Jesus. It is possible 
for our gates to be open and my gate God forbid is short that's why somebody can be in a church that the gate of the church is open but his own personal gate has not been opened because we all have our personal that's why I said and thy gate thy gate listen until thy gate is open you will be listening to other people's testimony you will not share testimony you will be listening to their testimonies and be clapping hands for their testimony but you will not have a testimony you see until your gate is open your personal gate your personal that's why there are families that the gate of the family is open everybody is blessed in the family but there is one man it means there's an open gate over the family, but for him, his own gate has not opened. Ah, let my gate be opened. Listen, listen. In fact, do you know that God was speaking to me about GRS today? But let me say a statement out of what he said. Hear this. Our gate is different from my gate. Our wife is different from my wife. Our car is different from my car. Don't be deceived with our blessing. Get your personal blessing. And the way to get your personal blessing, you see, is, is for your personal gate to be open. Father, let my gate be open. Is somebody praying already? Say after me, say, Father. I can't hear your voice. Say, Father, let my gate be open. Go ahead and burst into prayer. Let my gate be open. La toca pacatayada. Ah, my friend, are you sure you are praying at all? Let my gate. I speak to my gate. Be open tonight in the name of Jesus. I speak to my gates. Open up. Lift up your heads. All you gates. Lift up your heads. My gate. I speak to you with the voice of authority. My gates. Be lifted. Hey, my gates my gates be opened he kapakata kakala pakata rakata kadakala gada rekete kete kete shekele peketo in jesus mighty name we have prayed please i'd like you to pray <laughs> these are prayers uh, that separate people <laughs> these are prayers that separate people if you want to know the kind of prayer that great men pray this is the kind of prayers that great men pray gates be open look at that scripture he said therefore thy gates not thy gates remember Isaiah 45 1 he said the two lived gates to a lot of people it is only one gate that is open just one gate 
and by design by God's provision by God's arrangement multiple gates should be open I think I've said a statement here before if you look at your channel of expenses What can you say about them? Look at the things that is taking money from you. You pay house rent. You pay children's school fees. What again? Subscription. What again? Fuel. Eh? Nepa bill, utility bills, food stores. Look at all those channels, and guess what? You only have one gate of salary. Servicing about 15 gates of expenses. And he said, Thy gates. So many of us, we are focused on one gate and the other gates are there. Listen, tonight, every other gate must be open. Every other gate. Every other gate must be open. Every other gate. Every gate that God has arranged for my lifting must be opened. Are you set to pray this prayer? Are you set to pray this prayer? Lord, I open the gate of favor. I open the gate of help. I open the gate of supernatural provisions. I, all kinds of, as you, as you can name them. Let my gates. If somebody said to pray that prayer, oh Jesus, are you set or you are praying already? Oh, stop that prayer now. Say after me. Say, Father, Father I, command I command my gates, my gate of favor, gate of my favor. gate of help, favor. my gate of supernatural provisions. Oh, gates, be open. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. My gates, my gates. My gates. Supernatural supplies. Supernatural provisions. Gate of favor. Gate of help. Gate of assistance. My gates. Lord, I'm tired of one gate. Let my gates be open. Let my gates, uh, let my gates, uh, let multiple gates, uh, multiple gates uh, be open unto me, Lord. Be open unto me, Lord. Let the cat a peketo, Zata pacato coto, Jacale peketo, Irataga la balabalaba, Jacala pacatayada. Let my gates let my gates hey sotolia in jesus mighty name we have prayed let me help you for your information the month of may is a month of favor now 2007 2007 pastor tunde gideon was preaching and he said a statement that I've not forgotten since then. He said, 
if everything you need in life you get by yourself he said you are living under a closed heaven that everything you need it must be you that will get it for yourself he said you are living under a closed heaven he said there should be things that you will need that favor will bring we are going to pray I open the gates of favor I don't know how you understand this but when the gate of favor is open to you <laughs> let me borrow from Sunday message hear this go and study the scripture very well is somebody following me go and study the scripture very well how did Job prosper Job, how did he prosper? The Bible said that people gave, came to give him gifts and then he had times two of what he lost by gifts. How did Solomon prosper? People came to give him gifts. How did Jehoshaphat prosper? People came to give him gifts. You see, I can go on and on on and on. David, how did David prosper? People came to give him gift. People can't give you until favor is working. You see, until the door of favor is open, gift cannot come. You are going to pray, Lord, let the gates of favor in all dimensions, in all directions, kalapaya kasuteria, did you hear that? In all directions, in all dimensions, let the gate of favor be open to me. If somebody said to pray that prayer, say after me, say, my father, my father, my father, my father, let the gates of favor in all directions, in all dimensions, be open unto me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Gates of favor in all directions, in all dimensions, be open to me in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Gates of favor in all directions, in all dimensions, in all directions, in all dimensions, be open to me, Lord. Gates of favor. Gates of favor in all directions, in all dimensions. Be open unto me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. As I step into me, even beginning from night to night, let the gates of favor. The gates of favor in all directions, in all dimensions, be open to me, Lord. Ratayadabaya Heshete Peketo Ika Paka Pakato Jalapaya Dabalaba Jalapaya Dabalaba Jakalapaya Kapayara Jakalapakataya Raka Paka Pakata Jalapakato Koto Raka Pakato Raka Pakato Jalapakato Rapakatayara in Jesus mighty name we have prayed I've shared the testimony of my friend before that he got to his place of work that morning oh Jesus ah, it, was, it, was, it was a stressful morning for him it was a stressful morning you know Lagos you know Lagos Palava and then he got to his place of work sweating and do you know what 
as he got to the place, as he stepped into the office, the boss also stepped into the office. See, somebody under the sound of my voice, there will be a divine coincidence for your favor this month. I said a divine coincidence for your favor. A divine arrangement for your favor. I think somebody will say, say louder, hey man. Say a bigger, hey man. As he stepped into the office, the boss also stepped into the office. And the boss asked him, why are you sweating like this? Why are you sweating like this? And he said, oh, uh, it's the boss, the boss. And the man said, so you don't have a car? He said, yes, I don't have a car. And he took him by the hand and took him outside and said, take this car. Number one, that was a car that was worth almost a million. And he said, take this car and pay 200,000 into the company's account. And the 200,000, be paying it as you see it. I give you three years to pay it. 200,000, three years to pay it. He got there sweating, but he left that office that day under his seat. You see, when favor is at work, you see, when favor is at what people get sweating, you get cheaply. If somebody said to pray, are you set to pray? Are you set to pray? Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Oh, Jesus. I'd like you to lift up your voice. Say, Father. Please. Don't let me crack my voice again. Say, Father. I command. Get of favor. Get of favor. Open for me. In the name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead and pray that prayer. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Get of favor. Ah, is that the best you can pray? Get a favor. I'm tired of sweating. I am tired of sweating. Oh, let the gate of favor be open to me, open for this commission. Hey, 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 gate of favor. I'm tired of sweating. Hey, 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 Get of favor. I don't know about you. I am tired of sweating. I am tired of sweating. Ah, I need favor. I need the gate of favor to open. I need the gate of favor to open. I am tired of sweating anyhow. Gate of favor. Open up. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Sit down quickly, sit down quickly. Are you enjoying the prayers? Shaka pakata kapakata. Shaka pakato kataya kapakato zat. Can you imagine that somebody just called the church office now and say that I, I, I'm blessed. I, I'm blessed by this ministry and uh, I'm just sending just 50 million naira into the account of the church. Can you give, can you give me the account of the church? Uh, can, you, can you just imagine? Can you just imagine? You know me. You know me. I will call some of you and say, what kind of business do you want to do? If you, have, if, if you, can, if you get one million, can you do something? And how will, what will happen next Sunday when you are coming? What will happen? That is a bigger favor that is broken down into smaller favors and rich. Ah, I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. You will not escape favor. 
I say you will not escape favor. Ha! Wait till Sunday. Wait till Sunday. There's one statement. There's one statement that God put in my mouth. <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted. Uh, but wait till Sunday. I pray for somebody that we say three amen that is loud and fire. I decree in the name of Jesus uh, you will not escape favor. Number three. Don't worry, I will stop at number four. Don't worry. I'll stop at number four. Eh? I think we're in number three now. Abby. Is it four? Three. You have entered into the spirit and you have found another gate. You said gate of favor. Okay, he has added gate of favor. Okay, put it in number four. Gate. Abby, number three. Gate of favor. That's number three. Woo! How many people want favor in this direction? That you want favor. Are you sure you want favor? Between now and Sunday, receive favor. You know what? When we make this declaration, people think we are just talking. There's one of us that followed me on Sunday. Are you in the same? You know I was saying here on Sunday that some people will receive a lot. She followed my car and while we are in the car, what happened? She shouted. And he asked her, what happened? He said, a lot. A lot. A lot. Right in the car. He said, what you said just happened. Right in I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. Between now and Sunday, you will receive that favor. You are coming to share the testimony of favor. If you are the one, can I hear a louder amen? Can I hear a believing amen? Who is that person that will share that testimony? Who is that person that will share that testimony? Somebody shout favor! Shout in favor! Get your favor! Open up! Get your favor! Open up! Say it again! Get your favor! Open up! Sit down. If I was even telling her, I said, let me dictate my account number so that out of the alert you have received, I also receive they are loud. She was just smiling. She was laughing and she was smiling till she left the car. In fact, where she should stop, I passed the place. I passed the place. She didn't know. After some time, she now said, Daddy, 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 I've gotten to the place. She was looking at the alert. Ah, the alert you will keep looking at and you keep dancing. You keep looking at the alert. The alert you keep looking at. And you keep dancing without drums, uh, without drums, uh, without drums. Uh, in the next 72 hours, uh, it becomes your own. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Number what now? Number four. Hacked 12 10. If you have been following me, I'm sure you remember that I've taught this a lot. But we just have to look at it again. Act chapter 12 verse 10. Look at, look up. When they were passed, that was when Peter was arrested, thrown into the prison, and the angel of the Lord went to the prison to take him out. I hear a voice in my spirit. Somebody in this service, you are coming out of the prison of debt. I say it again as the Lord liveth miraculously by divine intervention. You are coming out of the prison of debt. The Lord took him out of the prison, and the Bible says, 
when they were past the first and the second gate that word mean gate they came unto the iron gate that what that lead to the city there is a gate that leads to your breakthrough There are pastors that are doing village ministry. I don't mean to say God does not send some people to village. But you understand what I mean? Village in quotes. They were meant to be in the city, but nobody knew them in the city. There is a gate that leads to your breakthrough. Oh, 21 people under the sound of my voice. Now, and that gate is an iron gate. The Bible says it's an iron gate. It's an iron gate. Iron gate. I pray over 21 people under the sound of my voice. The exact gate that leads to your breakthrough shall open in a hurry. Shall open in a hurry. Shall open in a hurry. Listen. Hear this. I'm looking at the best example I can give you. There are gates that does not lead to breakthrough. If it opens, no meaning. Do you understand what I'm talking about? It's just like, how many of you have, have raised some people that some people lived with you? Some people have lived with you. Now, do you know that it's possible for five people to live with you and only one of them will remember you. That means the rest four is a wasted investment. So if I had known I should have concentrated on I should have concentrated on that one. And for some all the people that came the gate, the one that will lead to their breakthrough is not part of them. Hmm. All the customers that came, there's none of them that will lead to breakthrough. But there's one customer that will show up. And that is the gate that will lead. I pray 21 people under the sound of my voice. I don't know. I, I, I have a weakness in my spirit that something will happen. 21 people under the sound of my voice. Uh, the exact gate that will lead to your breakthrough will open for you this year. We will open for you this year. Do you know that you can try many business? You can try this and try this and try this. And it's just one that will lead to your breakthrough. If you have known that one, uh, you will have concentrated on that one. I, I am coming as a prophet tonight uh, to declare over your life, your life, uh, to declare over your life, uh, to declare over your life uh, that the exact gate uh, that leads to your breakthrough shall open in a hurry. Look at it. Look at it. He said, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city which opened to them of what? of what? of what? of what? can you pronounce this? eh? do you use H-I-S for gates? God was talking about gates and he had to use H-I-S for see God is not a mumu God is not a dollar he knew what he meant these are human gates human beings that have become gates human beings that have become listen there are people if they, if they stand that you will not get a job you will not get it do you know there are people in many offices that 
as letters as letters are coming in, they are just hearing it. They will not allow the letter to get to the right place. Those are human gates. Human being that has become a gate. Every human being that has become a gate blocking me to my next level. I uproot you. Oh Jesus. The way you are responding, I don't know. I don't know tonight. Somebody, why you are saying, Say, Father. Let me hear your voice. Say, Father. I uproot every human gate standing on my way to my next level. I uproot you now. I uproot you now. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Every human being standing as a gate to my next level. I uproot you now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ha. Every human being that is standing on my way as a gate to my next level, I uproot you by fire. I uproot you by fire. Ha. Every human gate standing on my way to the next level. mighty name we are praying it was Baba Deboye that said that shared this testimony he said one of the branches of the church built a church at um, I think it, maybe it was UK or US I don't know now Baba shared that testimony in, when he went to preach in Winners Chapel he said and that man was a mayor or something. And they were about to dedicate the church. And they already sent for Baba to come for the dedication of the church. And the mayor said, it's not possible. That, it is, that church will only be dedicated over his dead body. And they did everything. The government rose against them. The man rose against them. That man stood as a gate. And they call Baba that it's like this thing will be shifted and uh, postponed. And Baba said, what happened? And they told Baba. Baba said, since he said it will be dedicated over his dead body. So, so be it. And they said, maybe two days or something. Two days to the dedication that the man was blocking. He wanted to wear his own trousers by himself. And he made mistake put the same leg in put the two legs in one side of the trussy, trusses and fell down and died and two days after since he was the one that was standing at the gate the church was dedicated see every human being that is standing as a gate to your next level whatever God deemed fit for them let him do for them in the name of Jesus. Whatever God deems fit. The last one that I'm dealing with today. So we only talked about five out of. The last one is the city gate. Somebody said the city gate. 
I can't hear you. Just write this down. Write this down. Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 18. Just write it down. Time will not permit us. Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 18. Deuteronomy 25, verse 7. Listen. Every city has a gate. And in fact, in Bible days, we are about to pray some prayers now. And I want you to pray them. In Bible days, you don't joke with the city gates. And in fact, even in our days, you must not joke with the city gates. I'm sure our pastors will tell you there was a time, I think maybe the second year or the third year of this ministry, the Lord told me to take our pastors to all the road that entered in, enters into this town. So we went to all the gates of this city. You remember? We went to all the gates, came down from the car, put our feet on the ground and make certain declarations for this ministry and members that we join that the power that limits people in this city will not limit us. You see, if we are blossoming, people don't understand certain things that have been on ground. Every city has a gate. And in Bible days, listen, hell does gather at the city gates. Elders sit at the city gates. And one bagba. Is somebody getting what I'm saying now? Somebody and one bagba. And the city gate is the gate of judgment. That's why if you read Leviticus, you read Exodus, you read Deuteronomy, you will discover that there are certain laws that the Bible, God will tell them that if somebody does anything, they should take him to the elders at the city gate. And there they will pronounce judgment. Some of them they have to stone them at the city gates. Is the seat of judgment. Hmm. It is the place where accusations are laid. Reports are made. So do you know what? You, you are running a business in the city. But at the city gate, an accusation has been submitted. Against you and against your business. You are running a ministry in a city. And you have not dealt with the powers at the city gate. And they submit an accusation. And they tender reasons why you must not succeed in the land. Are you ready to pray? We are going to stand up now. Listen. Every genuine accusation. Did you hear that? Every what? Every genuine accusation that the devil is presenting in the spirit realm against me, if you have a business against my business, like me that have ministry against my ministry, throw it away. Every genuine what? Some of you are pretending as if there are accusations that are not genuine. That are genuine. 
Some of you, you skip your tithe in February. It's an accusation. It's genuine. Every genuine accusation that the devil is presenting in the spirit realm at the city gate against me, against my children, against my ministry, against my business, to the Father by your mercy, throw them away. Are you set to pray that prayer? Please stand up. Please stand up. We are about to round up. Please stand up. Are you set to pray that prayer? Say after them, say, Father. Look at you. Say, Father. Every genuine accusation the devil is presenting against my life, against my business, against my ministry, at the city gate, Father, by your mercy, throw them away. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Every genuine accusation the devil is presenting in the spirit realm against my ministry, presenting in the spirit realm against my business, presenting the spirit realm at the city gates ah, against my success in this city. Lord, by your mercy, throw them away. By your mercy, throw them away. Are you sure you are praying? Are you sure you are praying? Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. We are praying. Every false accusation. Now, listen. Do you know that people easily believe bad news than good news? I know a man, I won't like to mention his name now. I know a man, when he runs crusade, hundreds of thousands of people gather in this, in this nation. All of a sudden, false accusation. They said he buried somebody in the church. And little by little, that man is still in Nigeria today. And it's, nobody's hearing his voice. False accusation. Please, you need to pray about, you need to pray against false accusation. Are you set to pray? Somebody lift up your say, Father. I can't hear your voice. Say, Father. Every false accusation that the devil is presenting against my life, against my ministry, against my business, Lord, throw them away in the name of Jesus. By your mercy, Lord, throw them away. Somebody pray. false accusation ah maybe now and the future hey shaka ba 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 hey hey lebo shata ba yadash some of us, you don't know the meaning of that prayer. You better pray it ahead. Pray it ahead. Every false accusation that the devil is presenting now and those ones waiting for me in the future. Father, by your mercy, throw them away.
Ah, I'd like you to pray. If you are wise, you will pray this prayer. There are many people they have lost their husband as a result of false accusation. There are many people they have lost their wives as a result of false accusations. There are many people they have lost their job as a result of false accusation. There are many people they have lost their ministries as a result of false accusation. Father, every false accusation, throw them away. Shaka Bayadaba. Every petition that is written against you today it is cancelled. Yes, 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 pray it. Every query. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed look at this in the olden days it is the city gates that determines the boundary of what anybody can do in that city for example you are not permitted to build house beyond the boundary of the city everything that must be built must be within the city the meaning of that is it is the city gate that determines how far you can go it is the city gate that's why listen listen the prayers i'm leading you to pray some of us you don't know the meaning now listen there are many businesses that will die in this city it can't go beyond this city. There are many great potentials that they can't cross beyond this city. They are the champions in Ogomosho. <laughs> Outside Ogomosho, no name. Ah, as the Lord liveth, everyone running any business, anyone here running anything, by the anointing upon this service, you will cross the boundary of this city. I said you will cross the boundary of this city. I think I was sharing with some of us. I was surprised when one of my uncles called me on Sunday from France. He said, do you know we worship together? He said, I, he said every Sunday, I, I hook up with your service from France. I didn't know. You are going to pray. Every power placing boundary on my life and my business. Today I shift that now. Listen, listen, listen. Look up. I study history very well. Do you know that the boundary of Obama Shore was at Ojago before? The boundary of Obama Shore was at Ojago. It was between Ojago and this area. I, I forgot. This area that when you are coming from uh, Idiaraba. When you are going towards that, uh, that massifa. It was between Ojago and that massifa area. That was the boundary. But you know what? It's like something was shifting the boundary. Little by little. You see, there are powers that will shift boundary for you. There are powers. There are powers. That's why you know, at the time, the boundary was shifted to high school. And now, people have even, people have even crossed high school. You know, it's like something is shifting the boundary. You see, we are going to pray to, if you like, pray. Lord, I shift the boundary of this city for my business, for my ministry. My beast, every power placing a boundary on my ministry, every power placing a boundary 
on my life in this city I uproot you if somebody said to pray that prayer are you set to pray that prayer say father say father I shift the boundary for my life I shift the boundary for my business I shift the boundary for my ministry go ahead and begin to shift those boundaries go ahead shift those boundaries I cannot be limited my giftings cannot be limited in this city my business cannot be limited in this city my ministry cannot be limited in this city I shift the boundary I shift the boundary I shift the boundary tonight somebody begin to shift the boundary begin to shift the boundary they must know you in great places they must know you in Lagos they must know you in Abuja they must know you in Port Harcourt. they must know you in Canada they must know you in Australia they must know you in France they must know you you are too gifted to die in this city I shift the boundaries I shift the boundaries I shift the boundaries in Jesus mighty name we have prayed lati oni lo wa bless ni gba se lati abuja wa gba se lati potakot wa gba se lati india wa gba se lati canada you be known worldwide if you are the one can i hear louder hey man can I hear thunder us? Amen. You'll be known in the United States of America. I shift the boundaries for your sake. Listen. I'll say this prayer. You come to drop your offerings. You just drop your offerings and your tithe and go. Look up, look up. When you are going to one of these banks one of these are banks they use a door that they call automated doors do you understand that do you knock those doors before they open do you use key before they open there are doors that can sense your coming they can sense your coming there are doors that can sense your comings and the moment they sense your comings, they open. I pray for somebody here. As I make this declaration, come drop your offering. I make, so, I, I make a decree. The doors of greatness will begin to sense your comings. They will open before you knock. Hear me? They will open before you arrive. I said they will open before you arrive. They will open before you knock. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that we sense your coming, that we open before you arrive. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the doors that have never opened for anyone before in your family will open for you. I think I will hear a louder amen. That we open for you, in the name of Jesus, that we open for you, in the name of Jesus. I command your gates be open. Your gates be open. Your gates be open. Your gates be open. 
Your gates be open. Your gates be open. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Please, can you quickly have your seat and just listen to this announcement?